Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode three. Yeah, I believe this is episode three of V Rally Three. Where in the previous episode we did rally and we did good, so let's do the same in this episode. Uh, there's nothing really else to look at, so let's go ahead. I think it automatically saves. Yeah, I, I don't have to do that before the rallies. But our next rally is France. Total length is 18 miles. Average surface is asphalt. So we'll have an asphalt rally. Neat. Um, oh, this is rally two out of four. I see. We have four rallies in our first season. Understandable. All eyes will be on you during the next race. Surprise us again. Understandable. Maybe I will. So we'll have a look at our stages real quick. 65% asphalt and 35% poor asphalt. Understandable. Prinelli. Oh, there are actually uh, names for these. Huh. 100% poor asphalt. Poor ass. Interesting. 3.6 miles, 2.7 miles, dusty asphalt. Poor asphalt. Ah, I see we have reverse ones. I see what the R means now. Understandable. Alright, let's... Uh so that's just that, understandable. Um, sure. We will go ahead and uh, set up. So we have TA, which is damp or wet asphalt. Wet and extremely wet. Sure. I guess that works. I don't think it really matters too much. Um, all right, let's go. Let's get racing. Three, two, one, I was drinking water. Gotta stay hydrated. Oh, it's kind of nighttime. And by that I mean it's like late in the day, I guess. I actually don't think it's, it's not nighttime. I don't think there are nighttime rallies in this game. I think the worst you get is rain. I may be wrong though. Oh shit. We'll see if I can do as good in this one as I've done before. We'll see. Basically just keep the throttle pinned and one second ahead already. One and a half. Over one and a half even. Understandable. Go. Hairpin. Ah oh, god. Again, miss or uh, underestimating the stickiness of the tires in this game. Oh, I lost time. Only a little bit though, not much. Oh, dusty. Uh. Oh, I'm losing more time. What the hell? No, you're not allowed to do that. Ow! Well, there's damage. And now I have a brake warning. So I've damaged my brakes, apparently. That's good. Wallace? Isn't there an M. Wallace in NASCAR? I know there's Rusty Wallace, or there was Rusty Wallace. And Kenny Wallace. I don't remember the... There's one more Wallace, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm not really much into NASCAR, so I don't actually know that much. I'm still gonna win. You think a little bit of damage can stop me? Oh god. I don't know what happened there. What the? Oh, it's a uh, waterfall. That's neat. I have to take a thumbnail with the waterfall. Thumbnail picture. Let's see if I can even get a good camera angle. Oh, I hear the, the brakes are squeaking. I thought I heard a weird noise. That's funny. Again, like I was saying in the, the previous episode, there's a lot of little details that make me appreciate this game. Just stuff that you don't really think about that is not necessarily in other games. Pretty good. MG power. Alrighty. I was still 4.3 seconds ahead. I'm going to see if I can get a picture at the waterfall. Alright, so a good photo with the, uh, with the waterfall is not happening. So we will go ahead and just continue 
as I'm sorting myself out here. All right, um, let's see. What did the 2.0s do this time? Oh, I still beat some of them. Quite a few, actually. One retired. Damn. Uh, my homie is in 13th. Nice. Maybe we'll have enough uh, DNFs where we can get further up. We'll see. All right. Second stage here at France. God, the turning loses so much speed. What the hell happened there? I don't know what. I, I don't know if it's like some sort of weird traction control or what. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. The what has been? The headlights have been damaged? Is that what you said? I like that the guardrail actually bent out of the way there. Again, little details. Love them. Thank you, Eden Games. I mean, I should be no, or I should not be surprised that Eden Games is good at looking small details, considering I've played a lot of Test Drive Unlimited and Test Drive Unlimited 2. Castle, be careful, Castle. That's not a call out you hear very often. Who's this Wallace person? Why are they doing so well all of a sudden? Didn't see them at all during the first rally. Right. It's so funny that the brakes are squeaking. I find that very hilarious. Flat right. It's flat. Unlike me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh god, we got dust. Not the greatest of traction on dust or dirt. Whatever, same thing. Uh. Careful. Yeah, I don't know if that's like traction control or something, because like I'm not letting off the gas whenever the car does that, at least most of the time. I don't know. That happened again. I wonder if it's because of damage. I bet it is because of damage, actually. I bet there's like some engine damage or something. Or turbo damage. At least enough to make a difference. Not as much as the brakes, though. My poor brakes. There's like a weird coloring on the back window of this car. It's like almost like tint. What the hell is that? A good time. It's always a good time. Ten seconds ahead, by the way. Not too shabby. And we've had two retirements in the 1.6. And any more 2.0 retirements? Nope, just two 1.6s. Damn. Uh, my homie is... Where is my homie? 11th place. You know what? You get enough people retire and you get far enough ahead. We'll take the, the seven points again. All right. Get into our service area here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can repair everything. Let's go. Gotta do that quick. Uh, I think, let's see, what do we got here? So we have dusty asphalt and poor asphalt. So it's a, it recommends TA for the only tarmac one. You know what, sure. Sure, MG, I'll believe. Or MG or, what is it, Michelin? Isn't it a, a specific tire brand? I don't know. All right, let's go. Hey, wait, this is the, I think this is the same stage I did with the, uh, the Volkswagen for the, uh, the initial episode. Maybe, maybe not.
It might be the same track, I'm not sure. It was, uh, Tarmac. I do love the black and green on this car, by the way. I think that's the main reason that this car draws me to it, is just because it's black and green. It's very nice. I will never be careful around a tunnel. I am the tunnel master. Ah, my fucking brakes! Damn it! <laughs> Why is it always my brakes? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> God damn it, dude. At least I'm really far ahead. Or was, at least. God damn it, dude. I can't, I can't believe it. Oh god. Careful. I'm still getting a lot further ahead too. Damage ain't gonna slow me down. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Nobody gonna slow me down. Oh no. I got to keep on moving, you know? I am still pretty surprised that this game is being as piss easy as it is. I don't, I guess it'll get harder during uh, the, I don't know. Higher seasons, higher tier seasons. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. My poor squeaky brakes. Huh. Careful. Twenty seconds ahead. Understandable. It is the beginning of the game still, but understandable, I guess. That's all I have to say. Oh, I only got 0.7 seconds on the last one. Damn. Twenty seconds ahead. Good lord. Uh, we have had one more retirement for 1.6, and still only one 2.0. Retirement. Understandable. Homie's still in 11th. Understandable as well. <laughs> yeah. Alright. France Track 2. Understandable. I keep saying understandable. I need to stop saying that. Because it's driving me insane. And if it's driving me insane, it's probably driving you insane. Why is my car feel broken? Because it probably is. That's why. seems like a dark, like, it's very dark, and my lights are not on, and my lights have been on in lighter situations, which is odd to me. I don't know where I'm going, it's fine. I don't need to know where I'm going, I just need to go. Touchy steering, by the way. I think you might be able to turn down the sensitivity and get slightly less touchy steering in this game. But I don't know how well it would work. I would have to try it, and I don't want to try it. So therefore, that's how it's going to be. I wish I was streaming this right now. Oh well. It happens. Yeah, I think whenever I go up hills, like, there's something broken in my engine that just makes my car just struggle. Yeah, like that. Because, again, I'm not letting off the throttle to, like, feather it or anything. Lord. 
long. Yep, there it goes again. My car is unhappy. I am pretty happy now, though. Just as a, you know... Be careful, castle! Oh my god, I gotta watch out for that darn castle. Please, cart. I need you to survive. Surviving is good. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, car, make it, please. No, car, we only have one more. Please, please, just survive. We only have one more, uh, one more sector. You can do it. You can survive until the end of this race. I believe in you. Still strange. It does, no, no engine indicator for damage, just brakes. But I swear my engine is goofed. Okay, we made it. Thank goodness. 10 seconds ahead, just under. Alrighty. Still three retirements, and I've beat most of the 2.0s again. And I am almost a minute ahead. Let's go. Oh my god. Animation is my passion. Uh, yeah, I can do everything again. Let's go. Alright, what do we got for the last stage here? I didn't actually think to look at this really. 100% dusty asphalt. Average speed is 80. Top speed is 120. Understandable. I said it again. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on our final stage here at France. Stage 5 of 5. Honestly, like the skyboxes, or just like the sky in this game, is really pretty. And I like that it's different between every stage, too. It doesn't quite match the uh, the shadowing on the ground, but you know what? For 2002, again, it's not too bad. Like, this is the generation of games that actually, if, if you, like, have a good display and are able to get a decent resolution out of your consoles, they look really good. Like, this game looks really good for being from literally 21 years ago. Also, a fun fact that I don't think I mentioned in the first episode, this game also came out in Game Boy Advance. Interestingly enough. I would like to play some of the weird mobile ports, like Game Boy, DS, PSP games, uh, of games I've already played or am interested in in general. Um, so maybe that might be on the list. Be Rally 3 on Game Boy Advance. We'll see. I still hate Nintendo, so I don't want to do anything Nintendo related as for as long as I can, but we'll see. Fucking anti-consumer ass company. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Uh. Uh -huh. Please accelerate. It is time to accelerate. Accelerate. I'm getting further ahead. Now, will I damage my brakes this, this race or this stage? I guess we'll see. I hope not. No, no third time, please. Third time is not the charm. Never has, never will be. Did he say slide? I'm actually not like super far ahead compared to usual. Hey, somebody's 6.66 seconds behind. Let's go. I like that. I don't even know how to say that name. Haru Gucci? Maybe? I don't know. That's my best guess. 
Oh, jeez. Yay! Oi! 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 Hey! Oi! Yo! 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 I got 0 .01 seconds behind on that last uh, sector. Hilarious. Alrighty, there we go. 5.6 seconds ahead for our final stage. Still only three retirements. Interesting. Uh, my homie came in 12th in that stage. Oh, that was the overall. I don't actually remember. And we get our little celebration here for winning the uh, the rally. Oh yeah, this was Infogram too. It was Eden Games and Infogram. Or no, Infogram is Eden Games. I guess this was when they were transitioning from being Infogram to Eden Games, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yay. Alright. Uh, my homie came in, in 11th, so we're actually should get a uh, Get points. Very cool. Oh, the plus is supposed to be. Oh, if the gap is one minute, I guess. The plus is in a weird spot on second place. That's funny. Michael Wallace, if that's your real name. Probably isn't. I actually don't know what your real name is. But I get in now 50 points myself. And. Oh, my homie gets five points. Very nice. And we are officially in first place overall. Let's go. Team number one. And if you're curious, there are the 2.0 standings. Ah, they've done four rallies out of six, and 1.6 has done two out of four. Interesting. Alrighty, and there we go. Look at our emails real quick. Hi, Leah, wonderful, for wonderful performance. Everything's going great. You're still ahead. Stay cool. Don't lose your lead. Understandable. England will be the site of the decisive confrontation for the crown of the 1.6 liter front wheel drive category. The gap separating MG and Peugeot is almost non-existent. Test Driv again. Test Driv's double success has made her feel the favorite. The favorite. I don't know why I said that. Favorite for the title. Performance that will be remembered and not simply in her personal pre I, I can't read. Press book. Yeah. Ford announced today that they have decided to increase their budget in order to develop and optimize the Puma's performances. Ah, I guess the Ford Puma. Ford Racing Puma. And yeah, there's all of our rankings for points. And for teams, we are just ahead of Peugeot. Very nice. And stay cool, don't lose your lead. Understandable. I have apparently stagnated. Inter understandable. I wonder if the experience goes up every time you actually complete an entire rally. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, I don't think there's anything in here still. Yeah. Total points, 50. Rally's race, rally's victories are both two. Let's go. All right. Um, I will go ahead and save because I'm probably, I don't know. We'll see if I actually play more of this right now or not. But that will conclude this episode of V-Rally 3. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.